trappers, here we are. I got a muskrat hut. I'm on that same line of water, this uh, big pond with the creeks running through it, and I got a lot of muskrat huts. Here's what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I set for the muskrat. I don't know exactly how deep it is, but the, the bank goes to approximately right here. So all the way around this is, is a good place to set. Now, people that I've visited with and I've explained to them, they didn't quite understand. You can chop into that hut, uh, you know, I choose not to. I can set these at 3 o'clock, 6 o'clock, you know, 9 o'clock, and 12 o'clock and find out what end they're running in and out of. We had a lot of snow here and it piled up on top of the water, on top of the ice, and I can't see the air bubbles, so I cannot see where the run's at. So, I use a chainsaw and we'll get after it. There's good water there! I saw a run like that because I don't want it to freeze up on me. I got the three holes now popped. I'll get my bar. And sometimes you can get them to come out. Or I just push them out towards the lake. here I'm about three foot <laughs> it happens I just push that out towards the lake I don't want it interfering now I got three sets here ready to go I'm gonna come up here a little bit I'll show you how I set this right here I've already got a 180 clip pole already set up it's short chained the bait is on the bottom muskrat has to get committed I'll do the same here I have the corn the trigger on the bottom bend that around it's basically as simple as that flip it over I try to put it on the first ring or the first notch and we're ready to go I might want to go just a little bit higher but uh, I'll be able to find that out when we start catching rats so now I'll just run that down and as you can see from the first top trap that bottom trap is going to be you know it's going to be right on the bottom so I'm going to angle this a little bit. put this in on an angle. And I just want that top trap. You kind of got a feel because of all these cattails where you're pushing. And then I push it down in until that top one is right below the ice about three, four inches. Because them muskrats, they come and they travel right underneath the ice. Now here I've got the 360 pole, and I like to keep them horizontal. Now the muskrat's going to come down, grab a hold of it, he's committed, he's going to be caught. It's going to fall, it's going to fall. Now this one I do have short chain, but I have the chain links. I don't like that, but I'm showing you the way some people use the system because they want to go back and use that trap 
for regular 110 sets for mink or whatnot with just a stick and a run. So I'm showing you the possibilities. Uh, you don't have to cut all the chains down like I do. Find a spot there and then I just shove it down. Oh, that's pretty tough right there. So we'll put it on an angle. There we go. And I shove that down until that top trap. There we go. This one here, when I was cutting in, I hit mud. So that's basically what I got, guys, gals. I appreciate it. And uh, hey, get, give it a try. I'm telling you, you're going to catch a lot of muskrats under the ice, and it's that simple. Until next time, see you later.